Over the course of his career at St. Thomas, Riley Miller has hit more than 40% of his outside shots, which makes it all the more baffling that when he first arrived on campus, he was actually a bit gun-shy. His first two years, probably the only things we ever got on him about were not shooting enough. There was a period where they're essentially begging me to shoot more because I would only shoot if I was wide open and then I started to shoot more but it wasn't necessarily translating the efficient shooting. Of course, Riley's first couple of seasons were at the Division III level before the Tommies made the transition to Division I. But it was that last hurrah in D3, a minuscule seven-game pandemic season, that made the biggest difference. As a junior in that COVID-shortened season, that to me was the year that really his mindset, he started believing what all of us had known all along, like there's not a bad shot for Riley Miller. I've never been necessarily a volume shooter. It's kind of try and get good shots, but over the years I've kind of gained more confidence and they'll shoot till you get hot and then keep shooting. I actually asked him one time, I go, so when you're a great shooter, are you just always a great shooter or do you just heat up one time and never cool off? He goes, no, I kind of just caught fire one time. The flames are still very much lit on the tips of Riley's fingers. Although the NCAA doesn't officially count St. Thomas's stats during the transition phase, Riley's numbers have been good enough to be a top 25 three-point shooter in the country. His shooting prowess was fostered as a child working out with his father and has carried over into a meticulous routine in order to stay consistent. I'm pretty uh psycho when it comes to that stuff. Every time I step on the court, I got to make a certain number of form shots. I got to make a certain number of mid-range. And I go to the threes, and I go to threes off this movement. And it's for every game, it's the same. I got to make the same number of makes, every single thing. One of the best ways to put me in a good mood is just to watch Riley Miller shoot. Because when you watch him shoot, whether it's before a practice, in practice, before a game, um, even his misses look good. The evolution of the game has made outside shooting a hot commodity and Riley Miller has learned to harness that asset in more ways than one. I'm a big fan of Steph Curry and guys like that, and they kind of, I credit them though, like allowing me to play Division One basketball, because if the three-point shot wasn't as big as it is now, I probably wouldn't be a Division One basketball player, so it's thank you to him, but you know, it, it is watching those guys, you definitely learn a few things. Whoever's on him is on his hip, whether he's 35 feet out, so he creates a ton of spacing for our team. The way teams guard him in this conference, if he can get one of those off, we almost see that as a win for our offense. And if he can't, if they're face guarding him all the way out there, that just opens up room for the rest of us to attack and create offense. That driving lane was open because they won't leave Riley in the corner. That driving lane was open because he screened for you and his man won't help. Um, so it, that's where I think the intangible value of Riley oftentimes, whether he scores zero points or 30 points, when he's on the floor, good things happen.